How many different notes does a composer need to write a piece of music? Well, zero, if your name is John Cage. Failing that, Ligeti just about managed to do it with one in his first Musica Ricercata. And of all the notes to choose from, A is a pretty apt choice. After all, this is the first piece of a set, and A is the first letter of the alphabet, it's the first note that you typically hear at a concert, and it's also the first note on a modern grand piano. But why is Ligeti even writing with just one note in the first place? Well, he was about to turn 30. Why, God, why? <laughs> we had a deal, let the others grow old, not me! <laughs> and he'd grown tired of writing in the stylistic shadows of Bartok and Kodai. He was disconnected from other musical trends in Europe, and so was left with little other choice but to build up a new music from nothing. I asked myself, what can I do with a single note, with an interval, with two intervals? In this way, several small pieces resulted. These small pieces were the Musica Ricercata, and so that's why he fixates on just a single note in the first piece. He's essentially starting afresh, with as little and simple musical material as possible. But does it work as a piece of music? Well, it may lack pitch variety, but it's certainly not lacking in any other department. After the double tremolo curtain raiser, Ligeti gradually assembles a vivid multi-part texture, replete with bobbing broken octave accompaniment, and various increasingly fraught motifs. And he does this fittingly, as if from nothing, building up the music note by note. So far, we've heard three distinct motifs. A, actually, that'll get confusing. One, two, and three. With their unique rhythmic and intervallic properties, the three motifs battle it out. They extend, they interrupt, all the while the tempo, dynamics, and general insanity increase. If the opening tremolo was the big bang, then what's happening now is the big crunch. Everything is merging and contracting as all musical space-time hurtles towards a singularity. So, there is another note after all, D, and the harmonic connotations of this would not have been lost on Ligeti. With tongue firmly in cheek, the composer ends the piece with a jarring 5-1 cadence, perhaps as a final farewell to tonality and the old traditions to which he no longer adhered. You've been listening to the incredible playing of Denis Stanov, whose channel features some of the most insightful, professional, 
and entertaining piano content I've seen on YouTube. Whether you're looking for quick technical fixes, comprehensive masterclasses, or just downright stunning performances, then Dennis is your man. That's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon.